is because we don't want Nam the Kanu to be killing our people again. Okay. Our people have died enough. Yes. He has no agenda. He has no plans. Nam the Kanu is a close. What we want is a peaceful society. Yes. Nam the Kanu is just sending the youth to go and die unnecessarily. Over nothing. He brags that he has atomic bomb. He has this, he has that, he has nothing. And the youth believe him. And he is hiding in UK. He's a British citizen. So we, we are here today at the British High Commission to submit a letter to the British ambassador that his citizen or her citizen is causing problem here in our country. They have threatened, they, when I announced that I was coming to, I was, I was meant to come here, they threatened to kill my mother and my younger ones. As I'm talking to you now, I don't know what, if the plan is still on, on ground. So I'm reporting him to the British ambassador so that he will take it to Her Majesty the Queen and let her know that her citizen is causing problem here for us. Go to my social media page, you see all the threats to my life. We've said it before, we don't want Namdekano's pattern in this our country. He told us, he, 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 he made everybody in the Southeast to believe that we should boycott the election, which people accepted. On that day, two days to the election, he collected money. And they said that the referendum document has been signed, sealed and delivered. That after the election, we are going to have a referendum. It is over four years now, or Nothing. three years now after the election. And he's still selling lies and to people. And he's still telling us again to, that we should fight for referendum. Which referendum? By killing is? soldiers and policemen. Now, the next strategy he's doing now, he's not killing policemen and he's not killing army men in the southeast. How can you kill policemen and army men and expect them to keep quiet? These are their colleagues. Some of them are their best friends. And they are defenders of the and country. The, the worst part is that even the policeman is killing and the army man is killing, are also from, from, from the so-called Biafra. So how, how is he rescuing us? Anyone, anyone that says anything in the South East, he will send his men to go and kill him. Yeah. Anyone that says anything in the South East, he will send his men to go and kill her. Enough is enough. We've had enough of Nam the Kanu and we are saying no to him. Yeah. The only way we can register our grievance is to go to his country. His country is Britain, that is the passport he's using. So we are here today at the British Embassy to let them understand that we are not happy with what their son is doing. Yeah. IPOB is registered in Britain. So we are calling for an independent investigation towards all the activities of Nam Dikanu. Nam Dikanu bury people alive in the southeast. Nam Dikanu send his talks to go and kill people. Prophet Woko is dead. They, 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 they killed him. Akwara is missing. Akwara is missing. Akwara was his, was his former boy. Abambo was because, kidnapped and they tried to bury against, her alive. Because he was against some of his policies, especially to go and be killing police officers and army officers. For what? Is that How many police officers are you going to kill? Yeah. How many, how many of them are you going to kill? If you kill, they will still be recruit and put there again. Yeah. So what is the what what is the end result of your killing of police, police officers? Yes. So today, we the Igbo youth in Nigeria and in diaspora yeah. are here to, to protest that Nam the Kanu's case file must be opened Amen. in Britain. Yeah. So that they will investigate all his atrocities. Yes. They will investigate all the allegations we are labeling against him, which yes. are written in this book. Yeah. We, they will investigate everything about him. Yes. So that we have a peaceful society. Yeah. We are not slaves anywhere. Yeah. We are free men. We are free men. We know what his activities. And he should stop threatening people. Yeah. British government should open the file of all IPOB members. One of them went to social media and he's in the Netherlands. His name is Austin Okonkwo. He's in Netherlands. He went to social media and said that he was going to go to Britain and assassinate Uchemefo. For leaving the criminal organization. For, for the criminal organization. Yeah. That he's going to kill Uchemefo. He's going to kill... Let me open my mouth. He's going to kill Uchemefo. He's going to kill his wife. This, is, this, this video is on YouTube. He's going to kill Uchemefo. He's going to kill his wife. He's going to kill his kids. This is the characteristics of a terrorist. Yeah. This is the characteristics of ISIS. Yeah. IPOB have turned to ISIS. Yeah. And we Mini cannot ISIS. hold our hands and watch them disintegrate uh, Nigeria. people land. Yeah, of course. Thank you, my brother. Now Abba is on fire. Yeah. There was so, several gunshots and 16 youths died. Yes. These are fathers, these are children. Yes. He, 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 he began his protest. How many people have died? Yeah. A lot of people have died. So we don't want any more deaths. We say Nam the Kano case must be open. Britain must listen to yes. us today. They must the ambassador should come out and listen to us and Thank listen you. to our plea. 
and bring Nnam the Kano to book yeah. and his entire crew in IPOB. Thank again, you. there's another killer again called China Sangoru. In Kuwait. He's in Kuwait. But he is the person that writes the names of those that they, they will execute. Including the, the names are most of are mostly all the billionaires in in, 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 in Ibo land. After Zonupo, Emekofo, and the rest of them, many of them are, are there. I I I I have I have first class information about, about it. So we are calling on the British government to extradite Nam the Kano, yes. make him face they should open their case. May let him face justice. We are calling for justice. Thank you. You understand? We are not calling fight, for not war. The death is enough. Yeah. Enough of the killing. Our mothers, our mothers who, who fought war before. Yeah. Our mothers are not used to war. Yeah. What we want in the South is anything we want. We have elders. Our elders will sit down and will dialogue and think of how to get us our, yeah. our, 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 our own share in yeah. this country. Yeah. So Nam the Kano, we don't want you. Thank you. We don't want your ESN. Yeah. E e Amotuku was created in the Southwest. It was created by the Constitution of the Southwest. Yeah. Every state has to assembly in the Southwest, sat together and uh, pass the law. You can't just stay in Britain and you create ESN. And be killing. Thereby inviting the, 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 the Nigerian soldiers and army to come and be disturbing our mothers. When, when your ESN go and strike, they will kill somebody mm -hmm. and they will run. Yeah. The police will come there and do mass arrest. Be disturbing mothers and fathers. The money where they go use stop, they go use and they bury themselves. Mm -hmm. We don't want it again. Go that on. is why we are here in, um, in this British embassy to submit our, our letter and to also to cry to the ambassador to send our message to Her Majesty the Queen and to send our message to, to, to our good friend, uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who we so much love and we believe his wisdom. God bless you. God bless Britain. God uh, bless Yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you, my brother, for that uh, wonderful speech. Right now, we are going to ask, ask uh, the security personnel to maybe call someone from the inside to take our petition and submit it uh, to the uh, High Commissioner, the British uh, High Commissioner to Nigeria. We will submit it and make sure that they, it gets to the uh, appropriate authorities in the UK. And they have to work hand in hand with our Minister of Foreign Affairs and uh, our, Ambassador, our High Commissioner to the UK and make sure that this, this nonsense is stopped. We cannot continue to live like this. We cannot continue to be, to, to be seen as, as savages, behaving of innocent people on camera. When did we become these animals? That's not who we are. We are peaceful people, and if you don't know the history of Nigeria very well, check we Igbo people 